have a look. Good. There's an English version of the instructions. Nice little carrying case. And here we have the magnifier. Getting the camera properly aligned, I'm going to shut off the light while I'm doing it, is challenging because you have to look down through the lens and try to see where the camera is. In good bright light I can kind of do it. And you get a little bit of a feel for it on this camera because it sticks out a little bit. I'm not sure how I would do it on a camera with three lenses. Let's try that right now. Ah, it's pretty hard to get on there for one thing, but I guess it could be done because it does adjust up and down. Okay, I got the uh, camera adjusted onto the phone here. And as you can see, I'll try to put these two videos together. I'm physically laying the camera right on this dime here. And I can see good detail in it that way. Uh, the fine print on the instruction sheet here. The red light is on during charging. So you can see it blows things up very nicely. It's good for seeing uh, good detail on very small things. But remember, you'll have to put the camera right on the item. Here's the wood grain of the table I'm working on. For comparison, here's how much magnification I can get out of my iPhone 12 Pro Max. The red light is on during charging. And this iPhone 6S Plus has nearly as good magnification holding it several inches above the item I'm examining.